are back with a new video and we are going to talk to you guys about hair removal. Um, we actually had a lot of experience with different types of hair removal, so since it's the spring and summer is coming up, we thought this would be the perfect time to talk to you guys about hair removal. Yes. So, the first type of hair removal is Ish. waxing. I prefer two waxing. types of waxing though, right? Oh yeah. There's two types Actually, of waxing. Actually, there's more than two types. Well, we've, we've done two types of waxing. One is, I think it's sugar wax. Oh, I've done chocolate wax also. But, okay, so there's chocolate wax, there, like chocolate, I would say it's cream, then there's sugar wax, and then there's hard wax. What's the regular wax? It's just called hot wax. No? Sugar wax, I think. I think sugar wax is where they use the strip and they rip it off of your skin. And but that's for all waxing. No, not hard wax. They don't use the strip. Okay. They use the wax. And then chocolate wax, it they use the strip as well, but then it's like um it's like a cream kind of finish or something like that. Like it's not clear. You can't see the color whatsoever. Uh you can't see the hair once you put the wax on. And then there's hard wax. I don't know. You did the chocolate wax. Yeah. You did the um, sugar, sugar wax. wax. I think the sugar wax is just the regular wax when you it's hot. Yeah, I guess. And so. you have to microwave it, or mm -hmm. when you go waxing, they usually use that the, that wax. The 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 boiler. Or whatever. Yeah. The, and then the hard wax. So you did all three. Only did two. And I think for both of us, we prefer the hard wax. Hard wax. A lot better. <laughs> Um, it's, it's the hard wax is actually black. It's black, right? No. It's black. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Hard wax is not black. It's rubber. It's black. It's not black. What is it? It's all different colors. Oh, okay. It's all different colors. The only difference between hard wax is that it sticks onto the hair and not the skin. Therefore, once you remove it, it doesn't hurt your skin. It still hurts. It hurts. It's a different hurting than the regular wax that you guys get. You're just get. ripping out the hair instead of like, like with, with your, your skin, skin going with it. Yeah. And that is a lot better. Um, it's mostly recommended for like facial because it's a sensitive area in your face and your Gucci. <laughs> your bikini area, okay? <laughs> Yeah, no. so, so, um, yeah, and I, we've done, I've done all three, she've, she's done two, and we both prefer the hard wax, the hard wax a lot more. If you go waxing, like, anywhere, and they offer you hard wax, I take it, like, <laughs> it's very hard to find, though. Um, what I notice is that they do tell you to shave, bef like, they tell you to leave off two inches of hair or so before you go waxing. But um, it's better to listen to them because the more you hair you have, the more it hurt. The less hair you have, the less it hurts because it's only sticking to your hair and not your skin. Yeah. So obviously the less hair, the less painful. Like for example, like if you have like a five inch long hair and like the wax only touches like the tip, then it's going to hurt a lot more. You're going to break the hair. the hair and not grabbing it yeah. from the root. And then you'll have to so, do it twice. Yeah. There's, should we tell them the place in Brooklyn? Yeah. Well, since we live in New York and we live in the Brooklyn neighborhood, there is a place that we go to that's, the price is decent. You know, they have really good uh, service though. Great service. Yeah. So if you guys want to know, are you going to listen? Um, yeah, I can list the location down below in the description box, and the person who does it, her name is Monica, <clears throat> and I, I recommend, like, I went there first, I recommended Amy to go there, and she loved it, mm -hmm. I recommended my sister and my friend, like, they all love it, so, um, I also was trying to be, like, cheap, <laughs> so, and the, the thing with her is that she doesn't open all the time, so, I needed to go to her when 
I went on vacation before I went on my cruise and she wasn't open so I had no choice and I had to go somewhere else and I hated it so I don't think I would go anywhere else besides her after going to that place and if you guys don't live around us, you can always search up uh, your local area for like hard waxing places. 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 Yeah, you have to be very careful to read the reviews though, because it's very important to read the reviews. Some places are not as sanitary. You know, they probably reuse their wax or double yeah, dip. Yeah, like yeah, they double dip, and that's not good. Yeah, so. yeah. So yeah. the next one we're gonna talk about is laser. Which we've both done before also. We, we, we found a, a deal on Groupon. If you guys are familiar with Groupon, you can always find a, you can always find a lot of deals with waxing and laser removal yeah. on Groupon. We tried our first, well, our only time was a deal on Groupon. Yeah, with laser. Um, People said that we did it under our underarms. Some mm -hmm. people, for them, like their underarms are like very sensitive. To me, it it was okay. Like I've tried um, tweezing them before and also waxing my underarms, and it was fine. But when I did laser, um, we purchased the laser for six months, right? No, 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 six times. Six times. For a hundred dollars, a hundred or hundred and twenty, something like that. It was nothing like over a hundred and fifty. Yeah. Laser is pretty expensive, but if you find the right deal and the, the right place on Groupon, it's actually pretty. I would say it's worth it because I haven't shaved or waxed ever since the laser. Laser is supposed to be um, permanent hair mm -hmm. removal for permanent. Well, they say it's permanent, but it's not permanent. Some people actually grow back. Yeah, like I've I've actually had hair grown back. Um, out of like a hundred percent, I would probably say two percent of hair grew back. So, I mean, it's not a lot, but if you're gonna spend that amount of money, I rather have nothing grow back, obviously. But I do have to say that. It did grow back a lot thinner. Um, it not all of it grew back. Like some of the, like only like I guess a few grew back. Strands. Like a few strands, yeah. And um, yeah, and because only a few strands grew back, I could just like tweeze it out or whatever. Uh, but I would have to say tweezing hurts. I mean, not tweezing. Laser hurts the most because laser is this little machine that they it's a, using elect elect electro i love something where they zap you electrolytes where they, yeah where they zap every um they do it small section at a time yeah. so it's um it's like a burning feeling people say it's like rubber band hitting your skin I would say, like, it's not like one of those thin, flimsy rubber bands. I think it's like one the of those thick, thick <laughs> rubber bands that just like, bam, Yeah. It, that's what it feels like. But for me, it, it was okay because um, the underarms is such a small area. Within five minutes, both sides were done. And it's not yeah. every week. I think it's, it was every two, two weeks? I thought it was. Yeah, every, every two, two to three weeks. Maybe like once a month or something. Like, yeah. at first it was, um probably every two weeks and then as time went by like after like the second or third treatment it's, it was like every month yeah and we were I guess we were it was okay for us because we bought the Groupon deal like six times all at once so once we did it we couldn't really back out because you know our we money will go down the drain yeah. so if you were um, if you have high tolerance of pain, I would say buy a lot of them <laughs> so you can't pack out. <laughs> well, um, I've, it's it's worth it though. You don't have to go through that hassle of going to buy shaving cream or razor or like wax yeah. wax yourself every month or every summer, every time the summer comes. We did our laser like three years ago. Really? Yeah. I would say two years ago. Two to three years ago. Yeah. And for me, I don't think I have as much hair as Jennifer growing out. I would have like one strand. 
And I did them six times, she only did five treatments. Yeah, I only did it five times. So she did the full six times, I only did the five times. And I, for me, I think it's wonderful because I hate going through this shaving process with my underarms. Because some girls have darker underarms and I have like, and I'm one of them, I have really dark underarms. So after the laser treatment, it's dark, but that's when I have to use the whitening deodorant. But then it, 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 it's, it's worth it. You don't have to go shave, you don't have to go wax, you don't have to worry about the summer or the spring coming, you know? That, that's another thing. Um, with a laser, your underarms might turn a little bit darker than because it's burnt <laughs> than before um mine did turn a little darker and i have pretty like white underarms or whatever yeah i think yours is like normal people yeah, normal <laughs> people so you're not normal <laughs> no i'm not normal somehow my underarms are really dark and it, it got even darker after the freaking laser thing yeah so when i realized mine got a little bit darker we decided to use um like a whitening deodorant which it helped a lot yeah and I still use whitening deodorant. Yeah, I still just, do too. Just in case if it turns Dove, back. Dove has a whitening deodorant, but the whitening yeah. deodorants are, they're more expensive than yeah. the regular ones. So, um, yeah, because I, I mean, I like it a lot better because you don't have to worry about the area where you just lasered ever again. Even if it's just like a little bit of hair, you could just tweeze it out and it takes like two seconds. It's pain, but it's worth it. Yeah. It's pain for like a few minutes. And that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed our little um, hair removal video for you guys. And because it was helpful. Spring is coming. So I hope this can, you know, let you decide on what type of hair removal method for you guys to use. Well, because we are, we're pretty experienced <laughs> with all of them. So if you guys want a separate video on like one at a time, we could probably do that too because we do talk a lot. Yeah. So uh, leave the comments down below if we've missed anything or you have any questions about um, any of the stuff that we've done before, we'll be happy to answer you guys. Yep, and because spring and summer is coming up, and I believe um, in California it's always hot, but yeah. in areas in the eastern, because we're in New York, spring is coming, it's getting a lot warmer now. You have to think about, you know, showing your legs now, yeah. wearing t-shirts and your stuff. bikini. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something for you guys to take into consideration and maybe you know if you guys have any more questions like Jennifer says you can put it in the comment below I mean even if it's not spring coming up and you have like a significant other nobody wants to rub against your oh, cactus <laughs> I mean ever I don't want to think about it <laughs> ever since we, we had the wax oh that's true <laughs> okay um ever since we've gone waxing I think we haven't like let I don't know should I, I don't want to say it. It's kind of funny <laughs> but kind of inappropriate at the same time. And kind of sad. Yeah. Alright, we're not gonna say it. If you want us to say it, put it in the comment below when we say in our next video. Thumb thumbs up this video and we'll let you guys know. Okay. It has to deal with laser, hair removal, and the bikini area. <laughs> Alright, so we'll talk to you guys in our next video and we'll see you guys soon.